So Memory Cafe is a safe space for individuals to come and socialize, and the individuals are typically those with dementia and their caregivers. And it's a space where they could come together and that they could socialize with other people, make new connections and new friendships, because oftentimes when people have dementia, both the patient and the caregiver are isolated and feel as though that they can no longer connect like they used to. So the first set of cafes came out of the Netherlands, they came out of Europe, and then there started to be a wave in the US, started by Dr. Lovekiv, and she started a couple of them, but they haven't really been that prominent or pervasive throughout the country, so I thought that we should use one in Philadelphia County to increase services for those with dementia. I brought the idea to Felicia Greenfield, who is a social worker at the Penn Memory Center, and my supervisor, back in July, with just a really basic proposal. Um, and then the first one was in December that we've integrated some programming. So now we have musicians from the Curtis Institute come in to play music. We also have other community partners who are interested in donating their time and services. We're looking into having comedy performances, bringing in some adult coloring books, some board games, and we're also trying to increase the amount of donations that we get in general. I think the best part is getting a chance to meet people in the same situation so that you can commiserate, you can discuss various things, and you can form new bonds. So many people who have memory issues become hesitant. They have a hard time meeting new people and interacting with people because they're not sure how they're going to be received. And here they're in an accepting environment and they don't have to worry about whether they said the wrong thing or whether they might be misinterpreted, they can relax. I know my husband does. It's a little hard for me to get my wife out of the house this early in the morning, but I, I think it's worth the effort. Hearing the young musicians was very, very satisfying. But the socialization and the fact that people remember, some a couple of people remember Lois from the Cognitive Fitness, I'm really happy that to expand her social circle in a time when it seems to be shrinking. And I think the group helped to do that. It doesn't take much to start a cafe. You just need some cake, coffee, and a generous person who's going to give you some space to have someone come over and to enjoy the, the programming.